transformational technology, the Abrams X is a main battle tank for the next generation, featuring reduced weight for improved mobility and transportability, and delivering the same tactical range as the Mon Aqua Abrams with 50% less fuel consumption. The Abrams X's hybrid power pack supports the U, Army's climate and electrification strategies, enhances silent watch capability, and even allows for some silent mobility, with a reduced crew size and AI-enabled lethality, survivability, mobility, men slash a man teaming, MUMT and autonomous capabilities. Abrams X can be a key node in lethal battlefield networks and serve as a bridge from Abrams SCPV-3 and SCPV-4 to a future tank. Abrams X is a new technology manufactured by General Dynamics Land Systems, or GLDS. It is designed as a concept for the latest generation of main battle tank rather than the evolution of the Abrams tank series. This tank was first revealed on October 10, 12, 2022 during the Austin Exhibition, which took place in Washington, D. C. The Abrams X represents a new generation of MBT with increased firepower, protection, and mobility to withstand all new threat of modern combat zone. Now, let's take a look at the design and features of this Abrams X. As reported from General Dynamics News announcement, the Abrams X has a smaller crew size compared to the previous variant. The traditional Abrams consists of a commander, gunner, loader, and driver. While Abrams X features three crew hatches at the front of the vehicle, this implies that the Abrams X's turret, which has been rebuilt and seems to have a reduced profile, is completely uncrewed and instead uses automatic load. As a result, the Abrams X is the first to use an automated loader in the Abrams family. The new crew layout also allows all three crew members to sit side by side, working and battling together, rather than at separate stations, with the panoramic sights for the gunner and commander provided. After 40 years US introduced next generation tank, it became known that in the Abrams X the main caliber will remain the same the usual 120mm, but the gun will be changed. Judging by the video, its barrel is similar to the one used in the XM360 cannon. Previously, it was tested for an armored vehicle XM1202 under the now-closed program FCS Combat Systems of the Future. The 120mm XM360 cannon is created using new high-strength gun steel, light alloys, titanium, aluminum, and carbon fiber reinforced plastic. Compared to the Mon Abrams cannon weighing more than 2,500 pounds, the XM360 cannon is 800 pounds lighter and weighs about 1,700 pounds. The Abrams X is the largest redesign of U.S. military tanks since the Cold War, but its approval faces an uphill climb in the Pentagon over the weekend. In a 55-second YouTube video with dramatic music, the world got a glimpse at a new killing machine that's more fuel-efficient, quieter, and sleek. General Dynamics, the defense contracting juggernaut, showed off a prototype of its next-generation military tank, the Abrams X. It's the biggest upgrade of America's military tank technology since early in the Cold War, former military officials said, which presents both critical design advances and worries about unnecessary military spending. The Abrams X comes loaded with features typical of modern military weapons. But the design faces an uphill climb in the halls of the Pentagon. Military experts said, Russia's war in Ukraine has shown the promise and peril of tank technology in a modern battlefield. Military strategists worry how useful tanks might be in a potential war against China. The U.S. military's chief rival, outfitting lethal machines with artificial intelligence also concerns military skeptics. It's going to be hard for the tank community to get resources to do a major upgrade, said Mark Kanchian, a retired Marine colonel and senior advisor at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, a national security think tank. Shortly after the Vietnam War, the Defense Department commissioned Abrams tanks into service, looking to match Soviet firepower and technology. The Mon Abrams tank has served as a primary battle tank for the U. Army and, until recently, the Marine Corps. The Abrams tank has gone through various changes in the past century, but it has been plagued with several issues. It's costly and gas guzzling, and it isn't as nimble on the battlefield as lightweight armored vehicles, such as the Bradley Fighting Vehicle. Military experts said, for the past few years, General Dynamics has been trying to solve those problems, said Tim Reese, the company's director of U. S. Business Development. General Dynamics did not disclose a price tag for the Abrams X, 
which is still in the preliminary stages. The design would also be slightly different. Instead of soldiers sitting in the turret at the top of the tank, they would be in the hull. Creators said the tank could operate with a three-person team, one fewer than usual. The Abrams X has enhanced armor to protect it against bombs dropped by drones. The tank software is another major upgrade. An artificial intelligence system on board could be used to spot dangers in the distance. Recent vision is a scenario where the software could alert soldiers that an enemy tank is a few miles away and it has roughly 90% confidence it's a threat. The tank can also communicate with unmanned aerial vehicles, which could scout dangers ahead. The war in Ukraine has provided some lessons, he said. In the conflict's early days, he said the Ukrainians defeated Russian tanks with ease, a sign that the machine might not be very useful anymore. But as the war has progressed, officials from Kiev have said tanks would be helpful and keep asking Western officials for them. On the other hand, the United States' main strategic rival is China, and a battle with Beijing would be largely fought with naval and air power. Hanshin said, rather than tanks, a lot of people look at this tank and say, you know, this is not going to help us at all with China, he said. Bill Hardin, an arms expert at the Quincy Institute for Responsible Statecraft, said it's too early to tell if the Abrams X tank will be a technological marvel. Overall, the Abrams X is such a massive improvement over the original Abrams. The Army has attempted and failed to replace the Mon several times, and another Abrams is the most likely option. Although the Army currently owns thousands of Abrams and has previously refurbished earlier tanks to save money, there are so many alterations integrated into Abrams X that remanufacturing may not be possible. The Abrams X is not just a tank for the 21st century. Its expected inclusion of features, such as top attack active protection and the 30mm chain gun are inspired by the conflict in Ukraine. With its reduced crew, AI lethality, survivability, mobility, man or a man teaming, and autonomous capabilities. The Abrams X can be a crucial component in deadly combat networks and serve as a bridge between Abrams SCP V3 and SCP V4 to a future tank. If adopted by the US Army, it might imply that the Abrams platform might be used until the 2050s and beyond. So, what do you think about the new US Abrams X MBD? Should US Army buy it? Drop your comment below and let us know. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.